Welcome to my latest case, The Haunted Carousel. To start playing, choose either junior or senior detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose tutorial. Dear Ned, well, here I am at Captain's Cove Amusement Park, about to try to figure out what's behind all the weird things that have been happening here lately. First, a horse just disappeared off the carousel one night. Then, a little later, the carousel started spinning around all by itself in the dead of night, as if it was haunted or something. And then, last week, the roller coaster suddenly stopped in mid-ride for no apparent reason. Nobody was seriously hurt, but the park was shut down until the city knows for sure what caused the accident. I'm here because Paula Santos, the park's owner, is a friend of Dad's. She's putting me up at the Captain's Quarters Hotel, which is next to the park. I'm supposed to head over there right now and meet with a security guard named Harlan Bishop. I hope I don't let Paula down. Wish me luck. Ever yours, Nancy. P.S. There's a rumor going around that the park is cursed. Creepy, huh? Santos. Hello, Miss Santos. It's Nancy Drew. Hello. Have you been out to the park? No, not yet. I thought I'd check in with you first. You're all set. I told the guard at the main gate to keep an eye out for you. His name's Harlan Bishop. All the rides are shut down except for the carousel. I thought you might need to see it in action. But please, take a good look at the roller coaster, even if you can't ride it. What did the police find when they looked at it? They looked around for five minutes, then left. Said as long as the insurance company was going to investigate, why should they? So I can get into the park through the main gate? Harlan will be watching for you. Oh, and from now on, call me Paula. All right. Goodbye, Paula. A room service menu. All right. Will the young lady who just entered the park please turn immediately and enter the whale's mouth directly to her left? Thank you. Well, from the way you just marched right on in here past all those sorry we're closed signs, you're either who I think you are or you're one determined gate crasher. You must be Harlan. Paula Santos said you'd be expecting me. Which means you must be Nancy Drew, famous teen detective. Substitute the word amateur for famous. And yes, that's me. I don't know. Miss Santo seems to have a lot of faith in you. Apparently more than she does in some people around here. She's afraid the police aren't giving this case very high priority. Somebody swiped the horse off a carousel and now it's malfunctioning. The police don't think it's that big a deal and frankly, neither do I. What about the roller coaster? Accidents happen. Of course, Ingrid will tell you that these so-called accidents are really the result of the park's karma getting bent out of shape by negative energy or some such gobbledygook. Who's Ingrid? Ingrid Corey. You'll probably meet her. She's working during the shutdown, too. She's the park's chief engineer. Believes in all this wacky new age psychobiogenic stuff. Like if you eat food served by a waiter who's in a bad mood, you'll get scurvy or something. Is anyone else in the park now? Elliot Chen. He's the art director. Hardly ever see him. Busy guy. And Joy Trent, park bookkeeper. In fact, she's your next stop. She is? Miss Santos's orders. Joy pays all the bills, so she knows pretty much everything that's going on. Plus, she'll give you an access card. Miss Santos wants you to have the run of the place. That would certainly help. Wait, hang on. I know Joy won't give you one of these, so I will. Here you go. It's a Captain's Cove fun card. Let's you ride the rides and play the games on the midway. Come back to me if you burn through that one and need another. Why wouldn't Joy give me one of these? Well, see, Joy's just kind of joyless. It had never occurred to her that you might want to have some fun while you're here. Of course, she's a newbie too, like me. Maybe she'll come around. Anyway, here's a map of the park. 
I put an X where Joy's office is. What did you mean when you said you were a newbie? I've only worked here for a couple of weeks. I figured staying on while the park was closed would help me get up to speed on all the equipment and such. I see you have a security camera trained on the carousel. Does that mean you got the theft of that carousel horse on tape? We didn't start monitoring the carousel until after the theft, but we do have one of those so-called hauntings on tape. Want to see it? That'd be great! I got the tape right here, all queued up. I played it for the police. Like I said before, they weren't real impressed. There's no sound, on the tape at least. The band organ started up when the carousel did. Stayed on for about 30 seconds, then stopped. Have you tried to prove your screwed up wiring theory? I ain't no cop. But now that you're here, maybe you can prove it for me. Did you notice that burst of static just before the carousel started to turn? Probably just a glitch in the tape. We use them over and over. Where did you work before you came here? Oh, I worked in a store. Department store. You know, as a security guard. In Flemington. Not around here. I'll see you around. Sounds good. The phone number for the police. That might come in handy. Please don't open that. Sorry, bad habit. Yes, I am. You're Joy? Joy Trent. Sorry about the mess. So, I'm supposed to give you an access card. No hurry. If you're in the middle of something, please, go ahead and finish up. That's okay. I just as soon get this little farce over. Excuse me? You're only here because it makes it look like Paula Santos had nothing to do with any of this curse garbage. Are you saying she did have something to do with it? I've seen how Paula runs the park. All she wants is to get more and more people through that gate. And what better way to do that than with a carousel that's allegedly haunted? Is Miss Santos aware of the way you feel about her? Of course not. I don't want to get fired. Besides, nobody's been hurt. Except that glorified con artist who claims his neck got injured, Lance Huffington. And the truth is, Paula offered me this job because she knew I needed the money. And I'm not entirely ungrateful. My father died recently. His estate is in bankruptcy. He used to be co-owner of the park. Two years ago, he suffered a huge financial setback, and he had to sell his share to Paula. When he died two months ago, he was flat broke. Paula could have bailed him out, but she didn't. Frankly, I think the reason she hired me was guilt. Be that as it may, I'd still like to talk to some of the other employees. Of course. But before I forget, here's your access card. That should get you into all the private areas of the park. But if you run into problems, don't come to me. Ask the chief engineer, Ingrid Corey. Her office is by the haunted house. The only other people in the park right now are Harlan Bishop and the art director, Elliot Chin. His studio is right by the treasure chest souvenir shop. But try not to bug him. Does he not like to be disturbed? He's behind in his work and needs to catch up. Miss Santos has been getting on my case about it. Well, I think you have everything, so if you'll excuse me? Oh, right. Uh, thanks for all your help. Uh, sorry if I disturbed you. Okay if I peek in here? Go ahead and look around. Excuse all the clutter. I'm still trying to get this place organized. Hmm, looks like stenography. It's a memo about one of the carousel horses being sold. I wonder which horse. The haunted house used to be a ballroom. How's that for irony?
Hmm, maybe I should give Detective Paris a call. Hidden jewels. Maybe that's what whoever stole that carousel horse was after. Jewels from that heist. Hang on, I'll be right with you. Take your time. And do not come back unless and until Joy Trent calls me. Okay? Okay. Captain's Cove Police Station. Detective Paris, please. Hang on. This is KJ. My name is Nancy Drew. I'd like to ask you some questions about a jewel heist, an old jewel heist. The one where the safe at the Captain's Quarters Hotel was broken into. Oh, you are going back a ways. You a reporter or something? I'm a detective. Do you remember the case? Oh, sure do. Mostly because it was only half solved. Knew who the perp was, but never recovered all the loot. Bugs me to this day. I think what happened back then might have something to do with what's been going on at Captain's Cove now. Oh, yeah? So what do you need? Just so happens Paula Santos is a good friend of mine. Since everything seems to have started with the theft of that carousel horse, I'm wondering if maybe it was stolen because there were jewels from that heist hidden inside it. Hmm. Never occurred to me, but it's possible, I suppose. The thief's name was Chaz Dunning. Died in prison about a year ago. I'll tell you what. I'll make some calls, try to see if there was somebody he confided in before he died. Somebody who was recently released. Again, my name is Nancy Drew, and you can reach me on my cell phone anytime. The number is 523-555-4399. Well, as soon as I know something, you'll know something. Thanks, Detective Paris. It was great talking to you. Ditto. Hello? Hey, Bess. It's Nancy. Oh, hey, Nancy. Whoa, you were obviously hoping I was someone else. Well, kinda. Is George there, too? Yeah, I'm here. Which is more than I can say for my cousin. Oh, Nancy, I was hoping you were this guy named Matt. He works at the movie theater in the mall, and he is so cute. And last night, he asked me for my phone number. She's become downright dangerous, Nance. If that phone rings and you happen to be standing between it and Bess... You're toast. What happened to caller ID, Bess? My parents yanked it. She wouldn't pick up when it was some loser she didn't want to talk to. Her mother got tired of hearing the phone ring all the time. Not all those calls were from losers. Sometimes I was playing hard to get. Anyway, how are things at the amusement park? I met the security guard, Harlan Bishop. Nice guy. Except when I asked him where he worked before. He seemed kind of evasive. Is he cute? Bess, what difference does that make? Ugly people have chips on their shoulders and are more likely to commit crimes, George. I read that somewhere. Either read it or saw it on Oprah. He gave me a pass that lets me ride all the rides and play all the games on the midway. Unfortunately, almost all the rides are closed. Sounds like he could be trying to butter you up. And we know what that means, don't we, Bess? Suspect, Suspect list. I think I might know why somebody stole that horse off the carousel. They were looking for jewels that had been hidden inside it after a hotel robbery. Hidden jewels? I love it. That's almost as good as buried treasure. But if they recovered the jewels, why is the carousel still going around by itself? I'm not sure yet, but the detective who is in charge of investigating the robbery is helping me look into it. Don't let George discourage you, Nancy. I, for one, think you're on the right track. You can never go wrong when jewelry is involved. The woman who does the park's bookkeeping, Joy Trent, she is one strange drink of water. How so? She chews on pencils, for one thing, and she badmouthed Paula Santos. Seems to have this big chip on her shoulder. I'll bet she's not cute, is she? Well, she's not very social, that's for sure. Aha! A sociopath! What'd I tell ya? She made it sound like Paula fabricated this whole haunted carousel thing just to drum up business for the park. Maybe there's some truth to that. Phew. You know a case is complicated when the person who hires you winds up on your suspect list. 
I need you guys to do something for me. I found some stenography notes that I'd really like to translate, only I don't know shorthand. Say no more. We'll do some research and get right back to you. We will? I barely know how to spell stenography, let alone research it. We'll call you when we're through. We can do this, Bess. What is with all this we stuff? Catch you guys later. Keep in touch. Keep up the good work. Let's go for a spin on the carousel. By the way, you have four fun credits left on your card. Enjoy the ride. Ha <laughs> ha. Carousel will be starting in three seconds, so hang on tight. And don't forget to try for the brass ring. Yeehaw! This takes an employee access card. KJ Paris, I got some preliminary info on that jewel thief. You know Chaz Dunning? Great, let's hear it. Okay. Before he died, he got to be real good buddies with his cellmate at New Jersey State Prison. And his cellmate was paroled less than two months ago. Do you know the guy's name? Well, apparently he's used a lot of aliases. The guy I talked to wasn't sure which name he was released under, but he did give me a description. Dark hair, medium build, clean shaven, heavy Jersey accent. Like I said, I'm still in the process of making calls. I just thought I'd let you know what I had so far. Thanks, Detective. You've been a big help. Looking for someone? I'm Nancy Drew. I'm trying to help Ms. Santos figure out why so many weird things have been happening around here lately. Do you have time to talk? Sure. Oh, my. You've got B3 issues. I do? Vitamin B3. Niacin. The vibe you're giving off tells me you're low. Nothing that some natural peanut butter on a slice of whole wheat bread once a day won't fix. Highland Bishop mentioned that some of your beliefs concerning food were somewhat unconventional. It just seems obvious to me that what you eat, as well as the psycho-spiritual conditions under which you eat it, results in what you are, that's all. Are you sure you're an engineer? Got a Bachelor of Science degree from Ohio State and everything. I like surprising people. Unpredictability is what makes life interesting. Miss Santos asked me to figure out why weird things have been happening around here lately. What's to figure out? Someone stole a horse off the carousel and now the park is cursed. Why would someone steal a carousel horse? Money. I hear they can be very valuable. Could I see the blueprints of the roller coaster so you can show me exactly where on the track it stopped? I've looked all over for those blueprints and can't find them anywhere. I'm sure one of the other engineers knows where they are, but I'm afraid I don't. Sorry. How well do you know Harlan Bishop? I know he's an ex-bouncer from Trenton. 
I also know it drives him nuts that this is one of the few places in the park he doesn't have a key for. I don't seem to be having much luck using my access card. Am I doing something wrong? I deactivated most of the readers because of the shutdown. Soon as I get done here, I'll get them online again. Sorry. Hey, if you come across a pair of pliers, hang on to them, okay? Mine are missing. Someone must have walked off with them. Do you mind having to work during the shutdown? Not a bit. Keeping those card readers functioning is practically a full-time job all by itself. Plus, I happen to adore my job. Thanks for your help. Remember, niacin. Do you mind? Who are you and what are you doing? Who said that? I said that over here on top of the cabinet. Keep going over here. Please identify yourself. I'm a detective named Nancy Drew, and you are? I am Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. I receive and process video and audio input and make appropriate pre-programmed verbal responses. What's a magnificent memory machine? It is my turn to ask a question, Nancy Drew. Why are you here when Joy is not? Elliot Chen is kind of upset with me. I need to write her a note to call him. There is a pad for leaving messages on the desk. So, who programmed you? Responding to the non-Joy entity is an unnecessary drain on my power units and is heretofore disallowed. What does that mean? Hello? Miles? I guess it means he's not going to talk to me anymore. Hmm, looks like Joy's a pencil chewer. I can use this to leave a note for Joy to call Elliot. Hello? Hi, Nance. We found some stuff on stenography. Oh, so now it's we, huh? Okay, George found most of it. Surprise, surprise. But I helped. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. So go back to the hotel and check your laptop. We emailed a little tutorial to you. But you gotta promise to let us know what the note you translate says. I promise. Thanks again, you guys. What is that noise? Sounds like it's coming from below. an old radiator. I wonder what the deal is with this red tag. Mm -hmm. 